How is it going to date Lola? Lola. Somebody's Dwayne. Name's Jasmine. We're Dwayne Jazz. Today we have Omni Man versus Homelander, Invincible <laughs> versus the Boys. That battle. Uh, I don't know. I feel like Omni Man gonna get this one. Uh, yeah. He's uh, he's otherworldly. He like literally. <laughs> Omni Omni Man is is very powerful, but I'm just gonna say Homelander because I like upsets. Yeah. I like the underdog. Mm -hmm. But I'm excited to see both Superman Superman esque. Hero, mm -hmm. villains, heroes, whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, fight to duke it out. Um, if you guys have any reaction thoughts, please follow our social media in the link in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Let's dive on in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Omni Man, the invincible <laughs> giant, giant Jonah, Viltrum, mm -hmm. Jameson, <laughs> the world's greatest superhero. Brought to you by Vought International. Few heroes have stood the test of time with more aplomb than the very first Superman. But what if absolute power did, in fact, corrupt absolutely? Mm. Answer, we're all screwed. Yeah. He's whiz and I'm boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons. He said, oh, you got your power stone? You win. sure? Uh, definitely. All right, now's the apocalypse. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> now I got to take out everybody. Mm -hmm. It's a bird. It's a plane. No, it's Omni-Man. Mm -hmm. And you go in there for a second, huh? Uh, not really. His name is in the title. Black Batman. Well, you You're right. <laughs> from his thinking Nolan Grayson for his classic comic inspiration. He's even got that sexy mustache that he's not afraid to hide with terrible CGI. Or another <laughs> <laughs> Nolan was sent to Earth to act as its super-powered alien defender and spread the enlightenment of his utopian homeworld. And as his superhero alter ego Omni Man, there was really no wants to send a date to the task. Mm -hmm. He saved the date. world countless times. <laughs> the man, the right? Of the globe, and even married and had a son, Mark. Life couldn't be better until Mark inherited that his power. Yep. powers. That's when Mark found out that his dad was a stinking rat bastard liar. Mm -hmm. Turns out, mm -hmm. Trump wasn't exactly the peaceful utopia Nolan promised. Peaceful in the sense that they called half their population, murdering yeah. millions with their bare hands until only the strongest were left, united by a common purpose. This Viltrumite mm. empire then went on mm. to conquer planet after planet in their own galaxy, murdering people right. who dared oppose them. So just scratch that whole peaceful part entirely. Yeah. It turns out Omni Man was here to do that same thing mm -hmm. to Earth. Sorry, Mark. You're dead. Ooh, he yeah. He's easily the most Woo. powerful being on the entire planet. Yeah. Imagine combining the raw power of a Kryptonian and the bloodlust of a Saiyan. <laughs> which again is <laughs> 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 Viltrumites are composed of smart atoms that they can manipulate to achieve superhuman feats, like mm. holding their breath for weeks on end by drawing more energy from the oxygen inside them. Kinda reminds me of that whole bioelectric aura thing Superman has. That's basically how comic writers bullshit a science <laughs> explanation for his powers. Except smart atoms make even less sense. How can mm -hmm. the atomic structure be designated by your DNA? DNA is made of atoms. It's completely nonsensical biological hogwash that I cannot stand. Hey, uh -oh, it's whatever. Fans, I'm calling this debunk. <laughs> He won't care, they just like okay, yeah. Near absolute zero temperatures, and even possess insane healing factors. You know, stuff like getting punched through the stomach, having your guts ripped out, or having your face smashed up in a tomato mm. soup. I don't mean to exaggerate, but Viltrumites in this series get fucked up and yes, somehow they do. survive. However, too much trauma to the brain or heart can overtax their healing factors, and intense heat can be especially damaging. Even the most powerful mm. Viltrumites can be killed by extended baths in the spicy hot plasma of a star. Mm. And because mm. of their abilities, their inner ear vestibular system is far more sensitive than a regular human's. Intense sonic pressure will disrupt their fragile mm. equilibrium and even prevent them from flying. Mm. Though pushing themselves to their physical limits only ends up making them way stronger. Whoa. And considering Nolan has been alive and planet Ooh. conquering for thousands of years, Man. he's easily one of the toughest people. Oh. Like took out the whole like justice league, basically. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Literally splattered their bodies against him. But Mark mm. didn't inherit everything from his dad. Despite his alien genes, Mark was raised as a human with our weak, yep. pathetic human values like love and compassion mm -hmm. and not brutally murdering the shit out of everyone he's seen. <laughs> Really made it difficult for Nolan to relate to his kid. Such as when these aliens invaded Earth. 
Mark tried his best to minimize casualties and outsmart mm -hmm. his numerically superior foes. Mm -hmm. Nolan, meanwhile, mm -hmm. tackled he them through the portal back to their home world, then spent some time systematically annihilating their <laughs> planet for even daring to take Earth from him. Classic uh. Ooh, I remember that. Yeah, he said that's my planet. planet. Nolan flew so fast that his body lit their planet's atmosphere on fire. Explosion. I ain't gonna lie, I don't even have so cold. I mean, Joe Janus, Jake Jonas, you said it right the first time. Survived punching a hole through a planet and even deflected a meteor the size of Texas. I'm assuming that means the diameter of the meteor is equivalent to the distance from the top of the panhandle to the mm. Gulf of Mexico. That would make it 1,300 kilometers wide. And way over four. How how was how was Homelander supposed to? Oh, we gonna see. Reentry speeds of over eleven thousand meters per second. It had hit with enough energy to destroy the moon twice over. So Omni Man is strong mm. enough to slaughter those who considered him an ally. The Guardians yes. of the Globe, all to ensure as seamless a transition to the coming Viltrumite rule as possible. Too bad for Nolan. It wouldn't be that easy because he'd have to go through his son first. Mark mm -hmm. was horrified by his father's treachery, spurred on by the reveal that Nolan only viewed his mother as a pet. When he said that, I was like, oh, Invincible no, you didn't. Omni Man to save the planet. And that's when Mark's real Viltrumite training began. Get it? Training? Mm. Like the oh my god. It was a good pun. Jesus. It was Omni Man that learned a lesson about humanity that day. He may have tried to turn Mark mm. into a Viltrumite, but in reality, as Nolan fled Earth with tears in his eyes, Mark made his father human. Mm. Oh, that was just cool. Welcome to oh, Fox International, Here they go. a multi-billion dollar American <laughs> conglomerate whose number one products are the greatest superheroes on the face of the Earth. <laughs> That's right. is invisible. Superheroes <laughs> are real in their big business. Imagine a company that possesses a monopoly on popular culture, pumping out movies, mm. TV shows, action figures, and video games constantly, drowning the masses in a slurry of focus-tested nostalgia opium with no end in sight. Mm. Yeah, imagine! Within <laughs> Fox Pantheon of Gods <laughs> Among Men, we <laughs> yeah. your super team, The Seven, and its leader, Homelander. He's Insane. got the looks, the charm! The Jesus, and most importantly, he's got the power to slaughter all of America's enemies at home yeah. and abroad. Mm. This guy probably uh. eats freedom and shits eagles. <laughs> but Homer's <laughs> squeaky clean corporate sheen is only skin deep. Far he's from crazy. the big blue boy scout he's marketed as, Homelander is probably the closest thing to Lucifer on Earth. Yes. Remember bad future Biff from Back to the Future? Now give him superpowers and media training. Mm -hmm. Plus official story. Enjoy his Homelander fame, attention, and, and milk. Yep. Yeah. A tale we're all familiar with. And one that's total bullshit. Homie was made in a lab with mm -hmm. Bud's proprietary mm -hmm. super soldier serum. Compound V. And he was a complete success. Too much of a success. He was murdering rooms of terrified scientists oh before his own cord was even cut. In mm. the comics, Vaughn had to keep a remote-controlled hydrogen bomb strapped to him at all times because they had no idea what else could possibly kill him. That's wild. He mm. was subjected to psychological conditioning to make him the greatest and most profitable hero of all time. It wasn't long before he debuted as Hopelander, the ultimate defender of the American dream. Homelander possesses massively mm -hmm. superhuman strength, speed, and durability. He can fly at hypersonic speeds, see through walls with x-ray vision, and detect a person's emotional state from just the sound of their heartbeat. Mm -hmm. But you know you're done for when he breaks out his heat vision, which mm -hmm. is Ooh, yeah, you're you're done. crowds of people mm -hmm. or split airplanes in half, mm -hmm. or screams so loud that it shatters the eardrums of anyone around him. Those are innocent bystanders whose ears are exploding, by the way. Yep. Oh, yeah, he totally botched this mission to stop a plane hijacking. Sure so he did. forced each and everyone on board to die in the resulting crash so they wouldn't reveal his incompetence. Well, a Homelander's mm. powers may mm. be real, but his heroism is a charade. Yep. Though he yep. plays his part well, he cares nothing for the peon <laughs> he's forced to protect. He does the not care. The only thing he treasures is, ironically, his public image. Mm -hmm. Turns out, being raised as a lab experiment doesn't create a healthy person. Mm -hmm. But don't worry, he eventually cleaned up his act and started a totally 100% healthy sexual relationship with a fellow superhero. Mm -hmm. Just happened to be yeah. a Nazi. Nazi. Yeah. Right. Speaking of sex, which, you know how I'm always saying we should figure out how Superman and Lois uh, get busy? Well, forget that, because Homelander proved that they can't. With his ejaculation, <laughs> blew his partner to smithereens. What? what? There's no way to sugar. What? Considering a human's 
explode has much less mass than a shotgun pellet, it would have to be moving significantly faster to achieve the same kinetic energy, over 1,500 meters per second, or 4.5 times faster than sound. <laughs> That's right! Homelander can bust a nut faster than the speed of sound! Well, good night, everybody! Right! Well, it kinda sucks for humanity that they made this Oh my god! Being on the planet and a psycho murderer! That's no exaggeration. Stillwell even commented that Homelander has Ew. proven immune to every weapon known to mankind, no matter how powerful. Humanity literally lacks the ability to kill him. That would include nuclear weapons as powerful as the Tsar bomb, which exploded mm -hmm. with the energy of 50 megatons of TNT. Actually, it could have exploded with twice that, but the Soviets who created it were afraid it would irreversibly alter Earth's biosphere and end the world. Oh, but no. Man, we all almost died. And that's the kind of shit Homelander can shrug off no problem. He's strong enough to throw a mm. jet with one hand and fast enough to outspeed a C4 explosion. Despite being an emotionally stunted man-child, Homelander is still surprisingly cunning and able to manipulate those around him. Mm -hmm. Though it probably wasn't too smart to piss off the world's angriest limey, Billy <laughs> Butcher. Mm -hmm. Yeah, turns out forcibly bothering a bastard son with someone else's wife is not a good mm -hmm. idea. Mm -hmm. Of note, as unjustifiable as it is, to Homelander, this gave him something he never had before. Family. Some small yeah. measure of control over his own life. Being born Von Star pupil meant he was under their thumb from the day he was born. Mm -hmm. His superpowered son was the first thing that was truly his and might be his best option for a new beginning. <laughs> or not. Not the best parent. Not. All right. All right. We know Omni Man is probably gonna win. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna go with Homelander just because uh, Omni Man obviously is the stronger Superman. I mean, but. Like they said, they can't kill Homelander. Yeah, so we'll that's see. another thing. We'll see. Oh, uh -oh. Uh oh, I'm sorry, honey. Huh? Oh. Howdy, neighbor. Oh, Coco. It's warm. He's like, "What you doing here?" You no, know, no, I'm. Homelander is more than just a superhero. It might be cynical to say this, but he's a, a brand, and it's very important to me that that brand means. Something. Uh oh. I'm playing second fiddle to some goddamn alien. <laughs> What's really the point, right? What do you think, Debbie? No. No, she should. Well, Omni Man don't care. So, do we have an understanding? Get the fuck out of my country. Oh. It's <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> like, all right. Feed you your own heart. Uh oh. No, he's serious. Mm. And that's him holding back, too. Seriously? I'm not here for your country. Ooh. Right, he's with your planet. Right. All the people that just... I care about America. I care about the planet. Earth. Right. Mm. Well, I'm leaving. He is seeing it. Yeah, I'm leaving. Yeah, I'm leaving. I'm... Mm. I'm Oh. Oh, oh no, is that a plane? Make him go through a plane now? Oh! <laughs> and he would destroy it. Yeah, he don't care. He don't care, yeah. Never been hit by some of your old signs before? Probably not. Turn with a punch to reduce Mmm. Mm. Oh, oh yeah, mm. oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, the sonic yep, sound. Yeah, the sonic sound. Damn! Oh, That's why I said I would not... Mm. All, the civil all the civilians are gone. They're, they're gonna die. What's the matter? Are you going to cry? Mm? <laughs> <laughs> Doctor, I'm done with you! I need a flash point to those shit son of yours! This is a one blood neighborhood! And every
told you I don't even got that. that we both knew that. Fight. It sure seems like he was working out some aggression there. Despite Homelander's dominance within the world of the boys, he's a big fish in a small pond, mm -hmm. relatively speaking. Mm -hmm. Homelander can move faster than sound, while Omni-Man can move faster than light. Homelander mm -hmm. can survive a nuke, while Omni-Man can shatter the moon twice over. To be mm -hmm. fair, Homelander did have a couple of abilities Omni-Man didn't, mm -hmm. like his heat mm -hmm. vision. And while Ultra Mike healing factors have failed against continuous exposure to the heat of stars, mm -hmm. that still took quite a bit of time. And there's no reason to think Homelander's heat vision was anywhere near that hot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't let's take heat vision from the superhero Mean Supreme before, who can vaporize people in an instant. Even if it was hot enough, Omni-Man's superior speed would cut him off before he could do any lasting damage. Yeah. Similarly, despite being able to disrupt his equilibrium with his supersonic screaming, right. Homelander wasn't strong enough to capitalize on it in any meaningful way. Plus, while Homelander is pretty mm. devious when the situation calls for it, Omni-Man has been fighting and conquering worlds for thousands of years. Yeah, yeah. he got a lot more experience. Culture based yeah. on fighting. Homelander, on the other hand, comes from a test tube and never had to push himself as a fighter because he yep. was always so much stronger than everyone else. Yep. Yeah. That's the key difference between them. One is a warrior, and the other is a bully. Mm -hmm. Homelander was never going to give up easy, but Omni-Man's skill, power, and... I don't like, I've been doing this. Uh, Stop when it. When it comes to Superman knockoffs, Homelander had to eat his heart out. Mm. The winner is Omni-Man. Oh, 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 I can't wait for Inven Invincible Season 2. I know. Next time. Okay. Magneto. Oh, Magneto? Oh. Versus... Oh, uh, yeah, uh, uh, Tetsuo oh. from, uh, from Akira. Yeah, I was about to say the movie. Yeah, yeah I was like, Akira, no, that's not his name. <laughs> that's why I stopped. Like, right. That's the movie. That's not, that's not his name. But, yeah. oh my gosh. Oh, that's going to be... That's going to be interesting. That's going to be very interesting. I, don't, I, I got Tetsuo. I got Magneto. I don't know. Magneto, I, I don't, I don't know, man. That's gonna be I interesting. Know. Yeah. I, I didn't think they would, you know. But as far as Homelander, I mean, we knew Omni Man was like, come on now, like if you haven't seen the Invincible. Yeah. Like, like Omni Man got man, that, man. I, I don't know. When we saw that yeah. reveal, it was like, yo. Well, when he just was, because I was like, why is he acting different when his son gets his powers? I thought that's what he wanted. Mm -hmm. and then he was like, nope, now I gotta go kill everybody. Yeah. Right? <laughs> now I want you to come help me yes. kill everybody. <laughs> and then uh, the Magneto versus Tetsuo, mm -hmm. that's gonna be, I hope I'm saying the name right. I might be saying the wrong name. It sounds right. But, um, it sounds right, it, yeah. It, Akira is very, I gotta rewatch really Akira. It's very influential. It's very influential very. for sure. And everybody does that little motorcycle scene. Yeah, the motorcycle scene. Everybody yeah, does. yeah, yeah, that, yeah. So. That motorcycle was lit. I would mm -hmm. like that in real life. <laughs> um, anyway, guys, comment below. Let's. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, share some more. Yeah.